Hello friends and welcome to our Aldi haul for the second week of February. Today is February the 10th. It is actually my brother's birthday, so happy birthday, Dylan. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and get started uh, with some of our fruits and vegetables over here. They had a deal going for um, the Halos. It's a three pound bag of Halos. They had a deal going there, so we went ahead and picked up that. Okay, those were $2.69. But they also had a deal on those navel oranges that we had gotten um, earlier this year as well. And those were $1.49. So we decided to pick both those up. Wayne has been taking um, a lot of the citrus stuff to work, um, like all the different fruits and stuff to work, um, and eating them there throughout the week for snacks. So um, he'll definitely get a lot of good use out of that. Um, they had these this week that they don't have all the time, so I decided to pick up those um, to go along with some of my lunches in there. Like the little cereal bar type of things, the rainbow chip granola bars, and those were $1.49. They did have salads this week again, thank goodness. So I got three of the salads, and those are $0.89. Cents. We picked up eggs this week as well, um, something that we don't normally get or that we don't get every week, but um, they were 98 cents this week, so we picked up some of those. I know that sometimes they have them, they're like crazy cheap, guys, so always keep an eye out whenever you go and take a look at what the price is, because I've seen them there before for like 50, like 59 cents at times, so always check how much the eggs are when you go, um, um, even if you don't necessarily need them right then. Uh, we also picked up these. This was something new that... Um, that I hadn't seen before. At least I'd never seen any of the honey uh, ginger before. I know I've had some of their sweet and sour chicken before, but this is a little bit different than the sweet and sour chicken stuff that they've had before. Um, so it'll be interesting to try that out. And those were both um, $3.49 each. A lot of Asian inspired food this week. We decided to pick these guys up here for um for some of our lunches because they looked pretty neat um we both like Thai food so we thought that that might be good then they also have um the teriyaki noodles and then we picked up one of the chicken fried rice as well those were 79 cent each so it's a pretty simple quick um cheap lunch meal for us um we also got some stuff to make um, some tacos again. We already have the beef in the fridge ready to um, get them thawed out. So um, we picked up some of the taco, um, the taco cheese. Last time they actually didn't have any of the Mexican style or taco cheese. This time they had both, so I picked up the uh, taco mix. And it was, I believe it was like a dollar something, a yeah, dollar eighty nine on the taco. Um, style cheese and that is for three cups. We also had to pick up the taco seasoning and that was 35 cents. Um, this is something more just for a snack but we got um, some of the salsa. This is the hottest kind that they've had so we decided to try this. This is an organic kind so we'll see how we like it and it wasn't on sale this week. They've had it on sale a few other weeks and we hadn't tried it but it wasn't on sale this week but that's okay. It was um, just $2.29. On sale, it was like $1.99. So it wasn't like it was a huge sale before anyway. Um, we also picked up some of the tortilla chips as well to go with that. And those were $0.89. Cents. Um, moving right along to one of our staple items, we got the wheat sandwich bread. The wheat sandwich bread was in stock again uh, this week. Last week, we were not able to get the wheat. We had to get the white. But that is 83 cents. Okay, moving right along, we actually picked up some milk. We ran out of our giant gallon of milk in time uh, before it would go bad. And so we went ahead and picked up another gallon of milk. Like I said, we're sort of trying this out because we're not usually gallon milk buyers. Normally we don't go through that much milk. But it's only $1.79. Um, so... We, we've we decided to go ahead and start getting the gallon. So that was $1.79 this week. Uh, again, that's one of the things that prices fluctuate on um, pretty often. We picked up a pizza this week. We get one pretty much every week. This one uh, was $5.99, and it's for the regular pepperoni pizza. 
We also, though, decided to pick up this, um, the Southwest style flatbreads, and this we're going to have tonight. It was on clearance for $2.99 because it's one of those, like, uh, best if used by like the 11th and the 11th is tomorrow. So we're going to have that tonight. I know that I enjoy this. I, we've had it one other time. Wayne wasn't really sure if it was something that he liked or not. Um, but for $2.99, you can't really go wrong. So we went ahead and picked it up. Uh, Wayne had also ran out of his lunch meat. So we picked up another thing of his lunch meat and that is $4.69. That one pretty much always stays the same for that sub kit. But 60 slices in there. It's a pretty good deal. And that last thing that we picked up was some of the bratwurst um, that they have. They had some last week, but it didn't look as good. So we decided to pick some up this week because it looked pretty good. And it is $2.69 for the package. And um, so that's going to be one of our meals this week as well. Um, so that is going to do it for all the things that we bought at Aldi this week. Um, we ended up spending... Um, $48.08, and that was on a total of 26 items. And um, as I've mentioned before, our grocery budget is $60 a week. So we definitely stayed under budget, and we have enough cash to buy some other little things if we need to um, throughout the week. But anyway, that is going to do it for our Aldi haul. I will say, though, if you're interested in our grocery budget and um, budgeting in general. We're probably going to be doing a video coming out um, this next week or two about how we first got into budgeting. So basically just like starter, starter tips on budgeting. So keep an eye out for that. And in the meantime, go ahead and like this video and subscribe so you can see the next one. Y'all have a great day. Bye-bye.